no bones have been about it, right? This is not an offensive position for me. It can be an offensive position for him. In a free fight, it's a little neutral. I don't really consider one position more dominant. He can choke and sweep an arm bar, I can punch, right? So this is an almost neutral, but what I can't do is any submission attacks from here. At least we're gonna call that a rule. So I wanna go ahead and get to the attack next, right? So I got my two on one, I build my corner, I stress his grip, pop, pop, I'm coming through, I'm low and heavy. Preservative maintenance, right? Before I move this hook, because if I just move this hook, he's gonna catch the half guard. And now I've just got more problems to deal with. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace that hook with this staple. So now if he closes his legs, he's gonna get nothing, right? And I can smooth into my neon belly, all right? From neon belly, what I'm looking to do, I'm not looking to do uh, like a seatbelt across his waist. So I want where my tibia meets my patella right here, right in the uncomfortable area and I want my foot far enough out that there is a driving pressure. I want my posture high enough up that there is gravity on my side. And I want the ball of my foot off the floor because I want him to support the weight, okay? So I'm expecting at this point that he's gonna want to alleviate that pressure. So I'm looking for his arms to kind of go to the knee. I'm looking for this triangle, okay? As soon as this triangle opens up, hand in, palm across, step the head, and the other, okay? So again, you can, you can go slow, you can go fast, you can go through all the steps. I can go here, bang, 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 I'm up, he comes in, bang, bang, flew it in over into the arm bar. Slow is smooth, smooth becomes fast. We've got a variety of different levels in here. Play through each step, but remember that haste makes waste also, right? You look at life backwards. If I know where his pinky is, I apply pressure towards his pinky. His pinky is down, I apply pressure up, that's an arm bar. His pinky is towards me, I apply pressure that way, that's an arm bar. His pinky is up, I apply pressure down, that's an arm bar. Will you hit your back for me real fast? I need to know where his pinky is. If I pull and he twists his arm like Americana position here, all I have to do is apply the pressure in the direction of his pinky. If he curls his arm down towards his hip, all I have to do is apply the pressure in the direction of his pinky, all right? Let's talk about positional controls while we're here. And then I'm gonna do like a little baby drill to help smooth that transition. Fulcrums, levers, and wedges. I'm not gonna go into a whole ninth grade science class right now. Read up on them. There's a lot to do with jujitsu here. I'm creating this hook under his shoulder, which already starts to elevate his elbow. Before I ever get under there, see how short the motion is? My hip's not even leaving the ground. And that's because if I remove that and I let him put that shoulder down to the floor, I'm not saying I can't get there, but I'm giving way more space and I'm having to make more motions, right? So what I'm looking for is when I clear, I'll do this once on this side and then once on that side. Once I clear, I'm bringing my knee straight through the same hole that my hand is in and I'm gonna catch <laughs> right there with my foot. This leg obviously stays here, and that is my security. So I'm gonna just pick up, and I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna roll on the ten bar. We did the staple pass, and then we did the under over variation if they bring their knee shield up and into flex, right? So far we've done the staple pass, and we hit that lift, step, knee through the hole, right? That's how we got to that step over arm bar. Can I borrow you, Christian? Yeah. So, let's go to the second pass, and look at how lift, step and knee through the hole has a, a similarity to create a different outcome. All right, so same thing, right? I get my two on one, I get my hip bend, I pop him, I get to my staple, he brings his knee into play because I messed up. It's more my mess up than his, but it happens, right? We're at speed. He starts to try to extend that leg, sweep, 
I'm going to bring it up over my shoulder, right? So just the pass is to bring this in. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I like Christian, so I'm not going to be too lean. And I peel myself on by into the side control. All right? I get to the same position. This is this. It's the hand that's through. I'm going to reach over. My knee is going to come through the center. And I'm going to come right into the knee block. Knees and arms are both hinge joints. Don't look at them as if they're very different. Right? They allow one direction to bend. They hyperextend if you bend them in the opposite direction. So again, bang, bang to the staple. I'm starting to come. He beats me with the knee wedge. I'm coming out towards the ankle. Posture, posture, posture. Pin. Hands coming across. Back. Get it out. Feet come to the inside. I've got my knee bar for my guys that play a little bit more. This is also a solid entrance right into Honey Hole and the 411 to all the other nonsensical fun we can have from there, right? I want to talk about the last components of the control. So ABC has happened. Bang, I just stepped through here, right? Why I control the heel, like the literal cap, my second hand is going to cup his calcaneus. I'm not grabbing his Achilles. I'm not bear hugging his calf. I am water scoop cupping the tip of his calcaneus, his literal heel bone. And the reason is, if he turns his knee line, he's now defeated the knee bone. If he turns into me and takes that knee over this way, he has now, now granted, again, it's jujitsu. There's other problems everywhere, but he has solved that problem because this is a hinge joint. What creates ACL, MCL, LCL, PCL tears? When a bending joint twists, those are rotational injuries. We've got a literal therapist right here. Am I correct, sir? You're smarter than I am, all right? So what happens is when I cup the calcaneus and I have my head, I now slowly start to rotate can't because he's going to put rotational force on a joint that is not intended for rotational motion. Does that make sense? So I've secured the knee above my hip line. I'm starting to isolate the freedom of the knee line by pitch rotation. And now I'm spot on for the kill.